Welcome to A Course in Miracles with the Ho'oponopono Lens. We are on Lesson 261, but before we begin 261, we're going to learn about the body. What is the body? The body is a fence the Son of God imagines he has built to separate parts of himself from other parts. It is within this fence he thinks he lives to die as it decays and crumbles. From within this fence, he thinks that he is safe from love. Identifying with his safety, he regards himself as what his safety is. How else could he be certain he remains within the body, keeping love outside? The body will not stay. Yet, this he sees as double safety. For the Son of God's impermanence is proof, quote-unquote proof, he uh, his fences work and do the task his mind assigns to them. For if his oneness still remained untouched, who could attack and who could be attacked? Who could be victor? Who could be his prey? Who could be victim? Who the murderer? And if he did not die, what proof, quote unquote, proof is there that God's eternal son can be destroyed? The body is a dream. Like other dreams, it seems, excuse me, and like other dreams, it sometimes seems to picture happiness, but can quite suddenly revert to fear where every dream is born. For only love creates in truth, and truth can never fear. Made to be fearful, must the body serve the purpose given it. But we can change the purpose that the body will obey by changing what we think that it is for. The body is the means by which God's sons, God's son returns to sanity. Though it was made to fence him into hell without escape, yet has the goal of heaven been exchanged for the pursuit of hell. The son of God extends his hand to reach his brother and to help him walk along the road with him. Now is the body holy, now it serves to heal the mind that it was made to kill. You will identify with what you think will make you safe. Whatever it may be, you will believe that it is one with you. Your safety lies in truth and not in lies. Love is your safety. Fear does not exist. Identify with love and you are safe. Identify with love and you are home. Identify with love and you find yourself. Oh, and you find yourself. Oh, my Lord, have mercy. I didn't see a period. So I'm like, hmm, where's the rest of this? Oh, my goodness. Okay, so the body is... Uh, there to make us be separate from one another. It's an illusion, of course. And so um, we can nullify the effects of separateness of the body, the body's quote unquote function by thinking of union and unity and joining and knowing that we are one, not only with God, but with our fellow brothers and sisters and with everything on a planet, the animal kingdom, the plants, so on and so forth. Lesson 261, God is my refuge and security. I will identify with what I think is refuge and security. I will behold myself where I perceive my strength and think I live with the citadel where I am safe and cannot be attacked. Let me Today, seek not security in danger, nor attempt to find my peace in murderous attack. Woo! What does it say? The Course says that we have a murderous rage. And so I can never judge anyone in jail or prison who has actually killed someone. Because if thoughts could kill, oh my goodness, I would be in jail by now. But we are healing that and we are... Focusing on love and oneness and union and communion. Going back to the text, I live in God and him. I find my refuge and my strength and him is my identity In him is everlasting peace. And only there will I remember who I really am. Let me not seek for idols. 
I would come, my Father, home to you today. I choose to be as you created me and find the Son whom you created as myself. Son with a capital S and self with a capital S. Yes, and so idols could be thoughts, memories, words, or deeds, anything that would separate us from the love of God and from the love of our brothers and sisters. So anytime you're triggered or pulled away and you're angry and you have attack thoughts, that's the perfect time to do Ho'oponopono. I'm sorry, please forgive me. I love you. Thank you. We say that to divinity anytime you're feeling anger or triggered or just off. And, you know, because sometimes we don't know, we might be in someone's presence and for some reason they just irk you. And that could be a memory, a subconscious memory that has come up for clearing. Sometimes we don't know why we feel the way we do. That person could be wearing brown and say you had a babysitter when you were little who wore brown and they always neglected you. They didn't feed you or, you know, something like that. So uh, you wouldn't necessarily consciously know it, but your subconscious does and it's making a pattern. And so Ho'oponopono clears those erroneous thoughts, memories, words, deeds, conclusions, judgments, so on and so forth. I'm sorry, please forgive me. I love you. Thank you. Or you can say, I love you. I love you. I love you to divinity or thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And that clears it up. I am getting along in um, radical forgiveness and it helps you to break these memories down. Uh, for me, I can do the process backwards and forwards. I don't know what the worksheet is. I haven't gotten to that point but I did design another worksheet based on another course that I'm taking um, with A Course in Miracles. And it goes from childhood, what was your childhood story, your childhood narrative, uh, what beliefs did you form about yourself? Well, number one, how did it make you feel? And then what beliefs were formed and how is it out picturing today? And so that is very important. And when you know that, you can forgive it. Uh, you can say something along the lines of, Father, help me to forgive this, or I'm sorry, please forgive me, I love you, thank you. You can do Ho'oponopono over it, or you can say, I forgive myself. Or you can say, um, going back to that original thought, Father, help me to forgive this. This is something that I use to cause separation from me, separation from your love. Uh, please help me to forgive this. And so, you know, prayers are powerful. Thoughts are powerful. We don't know um, what prayers can do, but it dissolves it. Just like Ho'oponopono is a clearing statement. I believe the prayers that I just said are clearing statements. I forgive myself. Infinite love, infinite love, infinite love. Um, you know, please help me to forgive myself for this, for my separation from you. All those are clearing statements and they do work. Sometimes we have layers of issues, um, going through these exercises. I've been doing this worksheet. I've had access to it for about a week and I feel like I've just filled up so many pages and can do so many more pages because it just seems like there's layers upon layers and one childhood event can trigger different beliefs, different stories, different uh, feelings. Uh, one time I felt shame and rage and revenge and uh, from one story and then formed different beliefs based on those feelings. So whew, the work is not done. And I believe it says in the course, our one purpose, our one function is to forgive. So we got to forgive everyone and everything. And it's not necessarily a forgiving of everyone and everything more than it is forgiving the illusion. And so everyone and everything is helping us to forgive the illusion. Okay, I know I said a lot. This is a longer lesson today because we did cover that key topic of the body 
please let me know if you have any questions or if you just want to have a comment. I do read all my comments personally, unless they're filtered because of whatever reason. But I trust that your comment will get to me. And uh, thank you for listening. I love you. I hope you're having a wonderful day or evening, wherever you're at in the world. Talk to you later. Bye.